today it's straight out of kindergarten and into the kitchen. Let's get ready to do some gnarly things today in the kitchen. First, let's get prepared. Aprons on, bandana's already secure. Now, when it comes to the kitchen, that's where all the wonderful things come out of the kitchen for us to eat. What I've noticed about kids is when they try new things, instantly this happens to their face. No! Disgusting! Never! Don't make me eat it! And parents are like, you know, I cooked this for you, it's healthy for you, it's gonna be good for your muscles, it's gonna make you grow strong, but usually kids are like, Bleh! double yuck. Bleh. So today we're gonna be really, really brave, and we are gonna try some new things in a taste test version. Come on up, let's check out some of our cool things we're gonna try today. Some of the tools in the kitchen are uber dangerous. Anything cut should be done by a parent, or a grandparent, or an auntie, or an uncle, just somebody other than a kindergartner with these dangerous knives, but they're super duper cool. So when you get older, hopefully you'll be able to have some skills to be able to use them. I'm gonna set that aside. I've made a tasting platter because today's all about trying new things. As you can see, it's not Thanksgiving. It's not a huge meal. It's not even lunch. It's just something to taste. And today's all about your opinion, what you think tastes the best. Now, we're going to move clockwise around my plate. I'm gonna tell you what each of these things are, but you can also play a game. You don't have to tell the person what it is. You could even blindfold somebody and see what they think. But just for the sake of fun today, I am going to tell you what I had in my refrigerator and what we're going to try today. Here we have at 11 o'clock, no, I'm sorry, that'd be one o'clock. <laughs> at one o'clock, we have a little buffalo mozzarella with a little sprig of basil on top. Next to it, we have an olive. And this olive is a green olive, also called a nochadara. Here we have a little piece of eggplant, and it's also been doused with some olive oil and thrown into the oven with a little salt and pepper. Next we have a whole kumquat grown from my friend's garden. Next to it we have a beautiful radish sliced in half. And then this interesting little thing, dun 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 dun, dun boom! It's an anchovy filet, a tiny little fish in a jar. And I have a piece of it. Looks like there's a little bit of hairs on it. It's kind of crazy, but I'm gonna be brave and try it. Next to that, we have a beautiful tomato, also known as a sugar bomb flavor rocket. Next to it, I have a little bit of pickled ginger left over from um, a Japanese restaurant that came in a little to-go pack. And then finally, my dessert at 11 o'clock. We have two dark semi-sweet chocolate chips accompanied by a little almond butter sprig on the side. Now. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to test each item. I'm gonna tell you my opinion about what it tastes like, and what I think of it. You could do this at home too. You could do this just with your family. You could do it by yourself. You could make your own tasting platter with your parents' permission. So, without further ado, I'm going to taste my first items. Here comes the buffalo mozzarella. Mm. Also, it's very delicious. It has kind of a very buttery texture, very smooth, a little bit of salt, and then the basil makes it feel really fresh. I really enjoy that as my first flavor. Secondly, I'm gonna chase that with a green olive. Before I taste it, do you think it's gonna be salty or sweet? Kind of the same color of a pickle. Let's check it out. Mmm, well, that was really salty. Kind of get to here, back of the tongue, sides of the tongue. That might be really salty for kids, but it's delicious for me, and I really enjoy that. Next, I have the eggplant. Kind of reminds me of the buffalo mozzarella. It's kind of squishy, but it's brown. It's a different color, but same texture. Squishy, soft. It's got the little olive oil oozing out, and I can actually see the little flakes of salt on there. Take a little bite. Mmm, that's one of my favorite things. I love eggplant. It's mushy, tons of flavor. It's like a little power pellet explodes in your mouth. And it's soft, but it does pack a punch. Okay, next. If you've never tried one of these, something to try. You eat the skin, the whole skin, you eat the whole thing, you just pop it in your mouth, or you could slice it up. I'm super brave with trying foods, because I love food, I think it's super interesting and I enjoy it, so watch out. Mm. This, this is only for brave people. It's really sour, but the skin, it's kind of intuitive, it's not what you think. The skin, the more you chew it, it kind of explodes this little sweet flavor. And it's almost like a, kind of like a superpower because the insides are really sour and then you keep biting, and then the skin makes this explosion of sugar and then it tastes really good in your mouth. In fact, I feel like it could inspire candy. There's this gum called Chewels. You bite into it and this whole thing would explode in your mouth with like extra flavor. Anyway, kumquat, I think, is the inspiration for Chewels gum. Don't mark my words on that, but I really think so. I really enjoy kumquat. And it has more vitamin C than an orange or any other fruit that I've researched. Next, we have the radish. I sliced it. You can see the radish. It's really a beautiful vegetable. No seeds, that's why we know it's not a fruit. And outside you see this amazing red, vibrant color. Inside, white. 
And I'm gonna pop two at a time because I enjoy radishes. Tried them before, but I've never tried them two at a time just like this. Mm. The radish kind of has an after flavor. Really crunchy, as you can tell, still chewing. But it's peppery, it's super crunchy and refreshing. Kind of reminds me of celery, but with a lot more flavor. And I feel like it's one of those things that you don't realize tastes so good when it's mixed with other things, but on its own, I like it too. Okay, finally. Here it is. The anchovy filet. These little small hairy fish. Yeah, brave. I'm gonna try this. I'm not gonna do the ooh, yeah, can't do it. Bleh. No, I'm gonna do it. It's a little tiny anchovy. Check it out. It's kinda soft. It's got a ton of flavor. Super salty. Kinda like that little olive, but way more powerful. And because I eat it on the side of my mouth, it's like crazy salty on the left side. So next, we have that little tiny tomato known as the sugar bomb. Tomato, look at it closely. Fruit or vegetable. Even grown-ups get confused, but if you notice the tiny seeds, tomato, a fruit. Mm. Juicy, sweet, tastes like candy. Different than the kombu because it's a lot more sweet and juicier, but I love it, the sugar bomb. And next, a lot of people call this a palate cleanser. Also really healthy for you. A little bit of pickled ginger. Comes with sushi usually, and it's delicious. But you can do all sorts of things with ginger. Even helps you if you get car sick or seasick, either one. Mm, like that. That's really interesting. Kind of sparkly in your mouth, gets you on the sides of the tongue, and it almost feels like my whole breath in my mouth is refreshed and happy. If your mouth can be happy, ginger makes your mouth happy. And finally, the dessert, what we've been waiting for. The chocolate with a tiny little bit of almond butter. Now, what I like to do is make my own chocolate almond butter candy. I like to sandwich it in the middle, just like that. Little chocolate chips on the side, pop that in my mouth. Mm. That is so scrumptious. It's like the almond butter and the dark chocolate mixed together. It's a perfect symphony of taste, texture, delightful, all in one. Now, do you look at my plate? I just tried a whole bunch of new things. I went around the clock. See if you can do that too. Try to pick 10 or 12 things. Try new things. See what your tongue does. Think about your opinion. What was the favorite thing that you ate? For me, oh, it's hard to pick. I might just have to do it all over again.